Hi everyone, today our product is AutoCAD Architecture and the question is how do you change the text style in a room tag? Well, we're going to show the example in a room tag, but keep in mind the process is pretty much the same for uh, the, all of the tags available in AutoCAD Architecture. So with that, let's go ahead and go over to AutoCAD Architecture and take a look at how this works. So first things first, I want to explain how room tags work. Uh, by default in AutoCAD architecture. And that is they need to attach to spaces. So first thing we want to do is create some spaces. From the tool palettes design category you have a space tab. From there you have some predefined spaces. At the very bottom you can go and get more. Now if you pick on one of these spaces it'll try to insert one into your drawing. If you just hit escape at that point the space definition is available. Then you can use the Auto Space Generate tool, which I much prefer for creating spaces, and set the space type as you auto generate the spaces. Much easier way than trying to use the actual space entity from the space tab. So now I'm auto generating the spaces, which finds the boundaries. I set the style. This is an office. We'll give it a name, which is maybe Amy's office. And then we can have it tag the space as we create it. So there you can see a room tag. You can have it create with the space as you put them in, or you can come back later and place the room tag separate from the space. But the main point of all this is that room tags by default need a space. They're going to want to attach to something. The reason for the space is it holds the information about the room. It can hold finished data, area, perimeter, really any, anything you want to track about that room. So I've placed one space without a room tag so that I can show you the first way of changing your font or text style associated with the tag. So I'll go over to my documentation tools and tags and grab my room tag. Now if I select the space and place a tag right now, I'm going to get the exact same font. What I can do instead is go into my annotation tools, get into my text styles and create a new font and set it current or create a new text style and set it current. The room tag by default will look at the current text style and use that instead of the one that it's been defined with. So this is by far the easiest way to change the fonts associated with your tags. It's not the easiest way if you already have all of your tags defined and you have 200 plus rooms. I'll show you another way to make that change. But if you only have a few, I would delete them, change your font, bring them back in, or just know in advance to set the font before you place your tags. All right, so now that my font is set, I'll go ahead and grab my room tag tool, select the space, and then place the room tag. And all this data is about the room. Again, I mentioned you can track data about a room. And if I zoom in, you can now see that it's using the new font that I assigned. So that's the easiest way to change it. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek at that tag on the properties palette. So I'm just going to right click on the tool, or not properties, I'm going to right click on the tool from the tool palette and then go into the properties of it here and you can see if I scroll down under text attributes it's targeting the the text style associated with the drawing so you can change that to as defined by content if you bring another tag in it's going to use the settings that are part of that actual block that's being used so there's the second tag for the room showing the other font uh, that's in use so Let's take a look at how this block is defined and then we'll drill into how to change the definition of it. If I select the block and go into edit style from the context sensitive um, ribbon called tag, you can see that it's a multi-view block. Multi-view blocks use blocks, just AutoCAD blocks, but multiple <laughs> versions of them for different views. So I can go into my block list and grab the actual block that's in use. Now the scale is way off because of the way this is created and the scale of the drawing, but you don't have to worry about that. Um, when you drop that actual block in, that's something that you can modify here in this drawing if you wanted to edit and update all of the blocks associated with the drawing. The other way to do it would be to go into the properties of that tag again on the palette figure out where that block is saved on your hard drive. So don't be fooled by this property definition location. That's not what you want. You want to go down further to the tag location. This is where the actual multi-view block is stored and saved. So when someone uses the room tag tool, it's pulled from that location. Then you're going to open up that file 
and modify the block from that file. That means when someone else uses that room tag block later, they're going to get the right content that you've modified for use across the office. So when I open this file, you're really not going to see anything. It's a multi-view block that's stored in the file, but it's not a visual item that's been dropped in. It, it's in here, it's just not visual. So to modify it, I want to place a copy of it and then modify that placed copy. So if I come up to Insert Block, then I can insert that same block definition. You can see there's several in here, but I know because I checked it on the other file that it's AEC Room Tag Basic P for Plan. And again, it's telling me the scale setting is off. That doesn't matter for changing fonts. If you were changing the line work, it would play into it more. But I'll just drop that block in, and then I can edit the block in place. So I'll just right click, do a, an edit in place for the block. There's those attributes. And just like you would in AutoCAD or have probably done many times before, select the text, go to properties, and then scroll down and find the text style option, which is somewhere in the list. Oh, there it is. So right now the text style is set to standard. I can change that to whatever font I choose to. Save this file finish editing the block, save the file, close out, and then next time you use the tag, you'll see that new font definition. So to summarize, I think the best way is to just set the text style in your drawing to the style you want, make it current. And that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna delete these two tags and I'm gonna pull in a new room tag with the setting to use the target text style in the drawing. The alternative option is to physically change the block in the drawing you're working in so that it updates all of the other tags. And then the third option is to update the block that's out on the server or as part of the installation so when the tool is used from the palette, it updates all of the other blocks. And again, remember it's a multi-view block so you have to drill in and figure out which AutoCAD block is in use in the plan view. So hopefully that helps you change the fonts associated with your room tags. Um, thank you so much for watching.